It's Wednesday night and things are heating up here in AEW. Hello everyone, I'm Alex Epperhantes and I am joined by a very special guest who's going to talk all about what's taking place here tonight. He is none other than the natural Dustin Rhodes. Dustin, thanks so much for joining me here. Alex, how are you buddy? Good to be here, man. I am so pumped for tonight, Dustin, and I'm really glad to be able to have a chance to chat with you because there's so much going on tonight and you have a big part to play and something very special that's kicking off tonight, and I'm referring to the TNT Championship Tournament. Yes, sir. Very interesting. So we, we know that you're facing Kip Sabian in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I want to hear from you, what does it mean? What would it mean for the natural Dustin Rose to win the TNT Championship? You know, you look at the brackets right now, and we have some of the top wrestlers and the top names in our business today. And standing right on my side here, right across from me, is Kip Sabian. Kip Sabian, man, is one of the toughest kids I've, I've you know, enjoyed watching his work and his work, work ethic and how he was uh, brought up in the UK style of pro wrestling. They know how to teach him over there. And they taught Kip well, you know, and he's got a beautiful wife, you know, to be. And uh, them together, man, I'm looking forward to Kip because I really want to see what he's made of. I want to see just how good he is because I know my lineage and my legacy. And is it good enough to beat a young Kip Sabian? I sure as hell hope so. Well, I, I certainly believe you, you've done it all in the business, so there's no doubt that you have the credentials. But I have to ask you about Kip because you mentioned Penelope Ford. And when you face Kip, you're not necessarily just facing Kip, you're also facing Penelope. So how do you combat combat someone who always has someone in their corner and you know that she's going to get involved in some capacity? There's the big key right there. You have to keep eyes in the back of your head at all times because Penelope's fast and she can get on from one side of the ring to the other. And there's a hand right there and she can trip you and you fall down and you turn around and before you know it, it's over. So I have to keep my head on a swivel at all times and make sure I know exactly where Penelope Ford is. Well, that's a great point. Now, let's start talking about some of the other matches that we're going to see here because tonight we are kicking things off with your brother, Cody, taking on a man who he's had a ton of history with, Sean Spears. And before we get to that, Cody made a very passionate statement earlier today and i'd love to go back and revisit it and get your comments why do i want to be tnt champion Wrestling is so linear, you're going to hear the same answer to that question over and over again. You'll even hear the announcers strike some of the same hyperboles as they describe the stakes. The wrestlers will give you that real wrestling school, paint-by-numbers interview where they say things like, you see, uh, the boys in the back. Or my favorite, they'll perpetually say their own name or the person they're wrestling against or the person who's interviewing them over and over again. Like I said, wrestling is linear. They might even do the, uh, that thing. You know, where you pantomime, where you indicate that you want the belt. I've done it a thousand times. We've all done it, I'm guilty. Wrestling is linear. But these are not uh, linear times, are they? I think we'd all give our last dollar for a little bit of normalcy, a little bit of linear. It's my personal hope that we get through this just fine. We want to live by each other's happiness, not each other's misery, right? So why do I need to become TNT champion? It is not the fame. It's certainly not the, the added money. It's not the, the specialized lower third that they put on the screen. 
it's not even my specific unique circumstance of trying to carry a last name that is worth 58 years in gold. It's much simpler. It's because I don't want to lose. AEW has four major pay-per-views. Double or nothing, all out, full gear, revolution, and I'm 50-50. I felt lost and I don't ever want to lose. The motto, the expression, what the nightmare family means, it's sitting on the side of my neck. It's, we say, do the work. It's not do the work and lose. And this tournament is flush, is rich in talent. Take Cole Cabana. Probably the second most experienced guy in the tournament. Does a better flip, flop, and fly than me, Dustin, and Bully combined. Ask anybody in any locker room world over. They'll tell you they love Colt Cabana. Well, frankly, I do not trust a wrestler that doesn't have any enemies. Kip Sabian. As far as the UK goes, they know how to make a wrestler. He's a stud. And that hellfire fiance of his, she's quite the wrestler herself. But what happens when two cohabitate, they're either gonna motivate themselves upwards or they're gonna drag themselves down to Complacency City right next to Jobber Avenue. Darby. I'm not gonna take credit for Darby, but I feel like I handpicked Darby. He's clearly the fastest rising star in all of wrestling in any company, hands down. He's putting on weight by the day, he's assassin quick, but Darby is a freshman on the varsity squad. I don't think he has the mental aptitude to finish this tournament. My oldest friend, if you could Put it that way, Sean Spears, my former tag team partner, kind of my Dick Murdoch, could be a world champion pretty much anywhere he wanted to be. But Sean Spears is king boo-boo face, and he will mentally defeat himself before we ever even lock up. Sammy Guevara, don't let all the flips fool you, and believe me, Sammy is one of the very few wrestlers in the world who can even do all the flips. He has an utter, nasty, mean streak. Don't believe me? Ask Kenny and Hangman's eardrums. My brother. I love my brother, but wrestling Dustin at double or nothing beating Dustin a double or nothing. Split my soul to the bone. I don't ever want there to be a rematch, but I'd be remiss if I didn't say I think he's the best wrestler in the tournament. That just leaves us with Big Lance. Jake Roberts has sure had a lot to say to me about Lance. You think I'm shaking in my boots because of your one-time reign with a title that I personally held, so I'm talking to you from first-hand experience, a title that Puro and casual fans alike consider to be about as worth as much as this ashtray? Come on, I'm not shaking, and if you think I am, think again. I'm not gonna comment further. I'm not afraid of Lance Archer. Every one of those guys, They want to be TNT champion. Difference with me? I need it. So wow, strong words from Cody. You know him probably better than anybody. Dustin, what do you think? What type of mind frame uh, really is Cody in in this tournament? I think Cody, like he said, um, he needs this. 
And me as his brother, as his older brother, and seeing where he is right now in our business and what he has been doing and how he has grown into the mega star that he is, I'm very proud of him. I love my brother too. And if it gets down to it, you know, um, in the finals, if we both make it there, you know, we, we got to step in the ring again. And, you know, I told myself a long time ago after our first uh, appearance at Double or Nothing together that I would never do it again. There's a lot more at stake right now, and that's the first ever TNT championship. I want to be a part of that. I know Cody does. And he, you know, you just heard him line out his opponents and, and the whole the whole field right there and, and the whole bracket and Sean Spears has wanted a piece of Cody for quite some time I agree with Cody on everything he said about Sean Spears he, he gets in his own way you know um, Kip Sabian's the the, uh, the the Lance Archers the murder hawk uh, I consider him a chicken hawk and I'm not scared of him <laughs> So if I get past Kip Sabian and I step in the ring with the chicken hawk, Lance Archer, I, you know, I, I've done the work. I'm ready. I know my brother is ready. And I would love nothing more for us to, to share the ring again, as hard as it may be. But this is, there's a first. It's a first. There's only one first, you know, and this is it. So this is a chance for Cody. This is a chance for me. This is a chance for the whole field. Are we all good enough? I think we are. But somebody's got to lose. Somebody's got to win. So I'm, I'm very anxious to see how this plays out. I'm just preparing right now and trying to stay focused on myself and my first match. So, you know. Well, it's going to be exciting to see what happens. That's absolutely for sure. But I want to talk to you about some other things that are taking place here tonight on Dynamite. So last week we saw Hiroko Shida in action, and Britt Baker was at ringside. And I noticed that there was some tension between the two. There was no doubt about it. And now we have a one-on-one -on -one match between these two incredible athletes. I know that you both know them very well. What are your thoughts on this matchup? You know, there's there's no love loss there between those two, and I've watched them over the last several months, and uh, I've been watching Twitter today, and watching Britt and Sheeta kind of go back and forth, and you know, Britt, the doctor is in, and I, Sheeta, man, I, I work with both of these girls. They're they're tremendous athletes. Both women are just fabulous, and wonderful people. It's just Britt is uh, chosen to you know be this so-called role model and you know i don't know how that resonates with the crowd because she's really not a role model she's just a pompous ass but Britt is very good at what she does she does is top notch when they meet when they actually meet it is going to be explosive i want to be on the front row for that because i know both of them very well i love them both very well they're my kids they're doing great uh but somebody's gonna win Somebody's got to lose, you know. It's just I, I'm I'm going with Sheeta in this one. Very good. Yeah, it's going to be uh, an incredible match. Highly competitive, in my opinion. Definitely one that I can't wait to see. You know what else I can't wait to see? I definitely want to pick your brain on this because as of late, you formed quite the team with QT Marshall. The Natural Nightmares are definitely on a roll, and you're taking the tag team division by storm. Well, tonight. We got the tag team of best friends versus two men who are also best friends in Kenny Omega, one half of the AEW Tag Team Champions, and his best friend, Michael Nakazawa. What are your thoughts on this particular matchup? You know, Kenny and, and Nakazawa have uh, a long history together, and they know each other very, very well in, in and out of that ring. And for them to face the, the upcoming stars of, you know, uh, the best friends, it's you also have a third member out there in Orange Cassidy, you know, and um, he's freshly he's, squeezed, by the way. He is freshly squeezed, you know, and he's taking the world by storm. And I got to give me one of his T-shirts too, man. It's it's. Uh, yes. I'm, I want to jump on the bandwagon with Orange Cassidy and the best friends and things. But Kenny Omega, man, he's he's been around a long time. He is top notch. He's top of his game. He is a six plus star match giver every time he goes out there, man. And he he 
bleeds, he sweats, and he cries a lot of tears to get to where he is right now in our business. And that's very impressive. And Nakazawa, with him, man, has trained and learned under him, under his tree. And they're both very dangerous. So you get in the ring, and if, if QT Marshall and myself were to step in the ring with them, that's dangerous, man. And you, you gotta, you have to be prepared for it. You have to train your ass off for something like Kenny Omega and Nakazawa because they mean business just like everybody every other tag team here they mean business but they got quite the pedigree yeah no doubt about it we all obviously saw a very competitive match between kenny omega and trent so it's gonna be very interesting to see when we see a, a tag team uh encounter this particular evening but you know what else we're going to not only see we're going to hear from damascus matt hardy the man who's over 3,000 years old, he's going to be letting us know what's on his mind. What do you, what's your take on Damascus? Well, I'm anxious to hear what Damascus has to say. I've known Matt Hardy a long, long time, and he is a tremendous talent, and I'm so glad, and we are very lucky to have him here at Old Late Wrestling. And Damascus coming in with a storm, man, and he's making some waves and he's gonna to continue to make waves because he's very creative like that. That's one thing about Matt Hardy. He reinvents himself over and over and over again. And there's very few that can do that. I have gotten away with doing that a few times, but Matt Hardy sure is has. always evolving, always stepping up, trying to go to that next level. So big waves and big things are going to happen with Matt Hardy of Damascus, 3,000-year-old. He Is he older than our Luchasaurus? You know, that's a great question, actually. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to ask Excalibur. He's got all the stats. Or is uh, Luchasaurus, is that the billion? He's like billions of years old, right? Yeah, I think he's billions. I think you're right. We'll have to find out. We'll, we'll investigate so, a little bit further. So Damascus was around, like, the time before Jesus. He's been around a long time. That's right. Egyptians and things like that. That's that's pretty crazy, man. I, I would it's pretty impressive. He, yeah, he's seen a lot. He's seen, seen a lot. I'm sure he could uh, probably get some good stock tips or you know something like that. Anyway, let's move on because we know Damascus in the house. Well, he's had his problems with Chris Jericho as of late, and it just so happens that. We're going to be graced by the presence of Les Champion all night long because he's going to be doing commentary with Tony Schiavone. Now, I know you've had problems with the inner circle. Uh, what do you think? Is Jericho even going to be able to remain in his seat throughout the course of the night? We know that he loves to interject himself in the show. Well, you know how Chris is, man. He has to be the talk of the, the show at all times. He's that kind of pompous ass. You know what I mean? Um, but that is a welcome for Tony Giovanni to sit ringside with Le Champion, or however you like to say it, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is very knowledgeable in our sport and has done some tremendous things over the, over the many years that he's been in the business. I look up to Chris Jericho on a personal business level because I respect what he does in the ring. As a person, though, he's, he's not somebody I want to hang around or that I would call my friend because you always have to keep your eyes in the back of your head for somebody like Chris Jericho because he will step on you to get to the top but Chris Jericho with with Tony Schiavone ringside man calling the matches you can't ask for two better talkers right there I, you know I miss good old JR but it's like we understand what's going on in the world right now and he'll be back but Chris Jericho's filling in and I'm anxious to see what he has to say no doubt about it and then also I want to make sure to mention that we've got the exalted one, Brody Lee, in action as well. What's your take? Hey, who's that guy right there? This is Khaleesi. Oh, nice. Khaleesi. Very cool. Khaleesi. Come here. Say hello to Alex. And <laughs> that is Khaleesi. Very cool. That's your uh, the exalted one at home, I would imagine. She is the boss. She is 170 pounds. <laughs> of course, I have Brute in the other room, and he is uh, the big boy. He's 230 pounds. He weighs more than me. Wow. I think he weighs more than Kip Sabian. 
Well, everybody weighs more than Kip Sabian. <laughs> but you have to watch out for those small guys, man. That's he's true. Cool. He's very fast, and he can kick you in the side of the head before you even know what happened. No doubt about it. Super talented. So anyway, Dustin, I want to thank you so much because we've got so much taking place here tonight on Dynamite. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that match between you and Kip. I know that it's going to be highly competitive. And then you've got the opportunity uh, perhaps to face your brother in the, uh, in the finals or face someone else. But at the end of the day, you've got an amazing opportunity to become the first ever TNT championship, which, of course, is going to be crowned at Double or Nothing. Well, just like you said, man, opportunity, it, it is knocking right now. And it's what I do with it. It's what Cody does with it, Sean Spears, the rest of the field. It's what we do with this opportunity. Do we want it bad enough to become the first ever TNT champion? I do. I know my brother does, but I can only speak for the both of us. The rest of the field, they better watch out. They got their hands full. Absolutely do. Well, thank you once again, Dustin. Uh, looking forward to, uh, again, seeing you uh, in-ring competition in this tournament. And then also continued success with uh, with the tag team with QT Marshall. The Natural Nightmares are definitely uh, tearing it up. We are, man. We're on the rise and we're ready to take over. I'm telling you. We talk about it all the time. We're working uh, every single week to better our tag team and to better ourselves. Our chemistry is on fire. It's there. We're 3-0. and We're coming. Well, great. Thanks again, Dustin. And for everyone else, make sure you tune in because tonight, Dynamite, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TNT, we officially kick off the TNT Championship Tournament. It's one that you're not going to want to miss. We'll see you live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Enjoy Dynamite. Tonight on TNT, the top contenders collide as Akaru Shida takes on Dr. Britt Baker and the TNT Championship quarterfinals begin when Cody faces the chairman, Sean Spears. All Elite Wrestling on TNT. Watch Wednesday Night Dynamite tonight at 8 or anytime on demand and the app.